Hey there, everybody. Glad to see you. Welcome to Beetle Brad's channel. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be great. Today, we're talking about the Beatles yesterday and today. But, as a lot of us know, it is called the Butcher Album as well. So today, we're going to discuss and talk a lot about it. So I've got a lot to show. So what do you say we get started? To get into character, I thought well, I'd wear, it's a white coat, so it really doesn't count. So it's a, a coat with a butcher button and my turtleneck. This album came out June 20th, 1966. So it's right in between uh, Rubber Soul and Revolver. This album came out in America and it also came out in Canada. Um, and But this album... The Beatles wanted to have this album put out like this originally. Um, and it was really, really a big deal when this came out. Uh, this album was put out, and I forgot the count. It was like 7,000 or something like that. Uh, 7,840 or something like that. I, I forgot the final count, but a lot of you would know better than I would of, of how many of them were actually uh, out of the... Uh, presses that came from capital but i just wanted to show a bunch of examples and kind of get an idea like i said i just thought i'd dress up look kind of along with there but this is the album that um kind of started the big controversial but this one is a different copy i won't go through all of these this is my letter this is the original letter that came along with it explaining to record stores on pulling the album and all of the uh, paperwork that came along with it, explaining all of that. But this one is actually um, the reproduction one. This is the one that was done, but I did get the paperwork with it. But this is um, done a couple years ago, and it was done on blue vinyl. So this one is considered a bootleg. So this is not an original one, but the front cover is done well enough to where you would look at it and say, yeah, the uh, front cover is, is perfectly done to the butcher, and the back is perfectly done, line up and all that kind of stuff, to where this album did, did look pretty pretty authentic when it when it came out as as a butcher and then it went over to this wreck this cover which uh is paul sitting in the in the trunk and then we got john and george and ringo sitting in the uh sitting around them and this this album kind of even though they switched it over to this this is what a lot of us all know the album to be is this album uh, but this album also even has a lot of controversy in the fact that this ties in with the uh, Beatles' Paul is Dead rumor. Uh, a lot of people are saying Paul was sitting in a casket. You know, even though he's in a trunk, they're kind of saying it's a casket and kind of ready for burial and all that kind of stuff. But we won't, we won't go into that today. But this is just my capital release. Um, then a couple of years ago... This came out, and this is really cool. This is the Beatles Yesterday and Today CD. And the neat thing about it was this had a uh, sticky. So if you wanted to stick it, you could peel this, and underneath was the CD of The Butcher, which is really, really cool and very clever. They did a terrific job of, of doing that and replicating it and making it look like it came out. Uh, during that period. They also gave you the original insert to go with that. That's kind of an, uh, the obi that went on the side of it. Um, and here's the actual CD, which is kind of neat. Very nicely done. It was done just a couple years ago. Um, and here's another copy, like I said, of yesterday and today. And this is um, capital later, later orange pressing, and just for fun, I did an enlargement of that, just, just for fun. Um, and then this one is a, another butcher, but this, as you can see, the top of this is missing up here, 
And this does have the letter of authenticity with, uh, well, not letter of authenticity, letter, I'm sorry, the letter that I showed just a couple seconds ago of saying it should be pulled, um, the butcher. So just the same paperwork, the same thing, but this is, this is an original as well. But the cool thing about this is it's on purple capital. As you can see, this one's, this one's purple capital. Very nice. You may say, Beetle Brad, it never came out purple capital. Yes, it did. It did come out on purple capital because this was an anniversary copy that was printed and made to replica the, the original one with the paperwork, but they printed it on the purple so you wouldn't uh, be able to sell it off as an original. But this came out in the mid 80s. Um, it was it was kind of a big big deal. There weren't too many of these made. They're they're actually a little they're actually a little tricky to find. I've seen them now and then online, but very very rarely do you ever see this come up. Um, and the big thing about the Butcher album was when when we were going to this album from yesterday, yesterday and today, and the Butcher album back and forth. Uh, two stories I've heard. One is that the Beatles felt as if they were being butchered by America, by their albums, because we withheld a bunch of their songs from Help and Rubber Soul and a couple songs off of Revolver and made our own album of Yesterday and Today. So that's one story that I've heard. And I've also heard the other story that this was their protest to the Vietnam War also of them you know, killing babies and all that kind of stuff. So they thought it'd be a real big joke to do a totally different cover than anything they've ever done. And this is the promo poster to um, the Butcher album. I know I'm talking fast. I apologize. I'm going fast because I have a lot to show. This is a Beatles live concert in Texas. And this is a side shot. I just thought I'd show you that for fun. It's a side shot of the uh, Butcher album. Then this is an EP from Australia, which has got four songs. Love EPs. Here we go. Get that in there for you. Love EPs. That's great. And then this is a Beatles Butcher pin. Very nice. Then this is a, another Butcher pin, but this is a promo pin. I'll tell you about that in a few minutes. Um, and then out of this book, which is a very, very thick, very nice, big coffee table book, um, we've got a few pictures about the making of this album cover. You know, when I do my videos, I like to show you everything. I like to have you kind of see it all, kind of take it all in, instead of doing a whole video of just talking about one single album which is the butcher i like to give you lots of ideas that's a wild picture isn't it yeah that's that's the butcher right there i like to show you the pictures and how they did it and all kinds of rare things this is the picture of them setting it up getting ready for it but yeah i like to like to show you lots of options so if you're out shopping and you kind of say, you know, I'd like to little collect a little bit more of uh, the Beatles Butcher album stuff, this kind of gives you the option of doing that, which is kind of fun. There we go. All right. So that was out of this book. Like I said, it's a terrific book. If you run across that, it's a very nice, a lot of really, really good color photos. Um, next up is a CD of Yesterday and Today, the Butcher album. And this, too, is a bootleg. This was a heavily, heavily, heavily bootlegged album. <laughs> they really just, the boot people made all kinds of these. This is an alternate uh, trunk cover from Yesterday and Today, and this is still sealed of all of these. This is a really nice one. I love this. Like I said, still sealed. Really cool. 
Um, and this is my original Japanese yesterday and today. This is fantastic sound on that. Just fabulous. Um, it's on Apple. I won't go through everything. It's got its paperwork. Um, just to show you, this is this is the it has a gatefold, which is nice. If you need to pause at any time, go ahead and pause because, like I said, I'm, I'm shooting through this kind of quickly, and I apologize, like I said, to go so fast, but got a lot to cover. <laughs> There's a picture disc, which is pretty hard to get. But this was such a controversial album, so this, this was pulled pretty quick. Um, I'm really amazed that it did make the market like it did. Um, I'm showing rarities because I just showed you the picture disc. But that is rarities, and there's the inside flap when you open up the rarities album. You get a picture of the butcher as it was intended on the regular cover without anything done to it. But you've also got to remember, in 1966, at this time, we had a lot of problems going on. We had the Vietnam War, like I said. We had Beatle burnings of their albums. We had all kinds of controversy going on. There was an upheaval all the time. So by f adding fuel to the fire, uh, putting out this album, I don't think helped. <laughs> it really didn't. Um, it created a lot more pandemonium and, and a lot more trouble. Um, this next thing is a uh, magazine publication. It's uh, Beatleology, which was no longer in production, but this is from Canada. Nice guy in Canada. Always putting out good stuff. Um, and there's a whole article in here about the butcher itself. And very, very nice. So if you're looking for a good magazine, um, like I said, these are all pretty much out of, they're all out of print, but this is a great publication to look for, Beatleology, and they did that on The Butcher. And of course, I've got interviews and everything about The Butcher itself. When The Beatles did a whole interview, this is a bootleg, back to bootlegs again, DVD of The Beatles, and the whole thing with The Butcher, is Butcher album and interviews again in 66. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Very rare, very hard to get. Um, still available, comes up now and then. Back to Beatleology again, showing some great pictures in this. Um, this also is a, a, a like a second publication of the one I just showed you. I showed you, as John would say. They really expected this to go crazy, and it did. And it did. This is all the different uh, mock-up covers and all the covers that they did do. Uh, and they did do a few of those. That's kind of neat. Um, but then it's just, it just goes on with the article. That's really cool to show all the different um, covers that could have been done. And if you saw my thumbnail, you saw this. And this is a sheet, which is the uh, autographs of, of three of them, of the Beatles. And no, this is not real. Just like everything else I'm showing you, this is a promotional slick that was supposed to go over for the next uh, edition in 2000, but did not happen. And they thought it'd be great. They didn't have John's. I mean, they had everybody else's autograph, but um, that was going to be a, another one that they were going to do in 2000, but it didn't come about. Um, so that's kind of neat. Um, but this is just the uh, regular slick to it. Then out of this book, which is a great, great thick book, if you ever want a really good picture book, this is excellent. For those of you who have seen the anthology, the Beatles anthology is a fantastic history of the Beatles and the anthology. Um, if you watch the Beatles when they're on the Ed Sullivan, they all come out and they, they, they're doing this and they show this at the very beginning of the Ed Sullivan and they say, hello, Ed, hello, Ed, and all that. And Ringo says, oh, we've been busy with the washing and the cleaning and the ironing and all of that. You know, Ringo kind of says that. But the reason I'm showing you this is because these are transparent um, pictures. And those transparent pictures are pictures 
of the Butcher album. They showed it pretty quickly, but if you can pause the DVD or get the book, um, or even this book, that's what it's that's what it is. It's it's pictures of the butcher. And this is a one of the actual poster slicks that was used. Very nice. And this is a monocopy, which is in very good shape. Monocopy of yesterday and today. This is an original. It's 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 a little battered, but you know, considering its age and its rarity. Um, and no, I don't have a butcher behind it. I wish I did, but it's really cool. Um, and here's another slick. Like I said to you, here's another slick, but not signed. So that's kind of neat. This is this is the actual ones that were kind of torn off. Um, it's got the original insert, and it's got the original stuff there as well on the record. But I'm going to end my video with this one, which is yesterday and today. This is a mono copy. I have the original uh, backing on that as well for the insert. My record is in really good shape. I know you'd like to see it. The record is in very, very good shape. And the reason I'm showing you this one is because this is an original butcher. A lot of people have peeled their butcher, but mine is not peeled. And you can see the V right there. I kind of drew it in on the plastic. I didn't draw it in on the on the jacket itself. But you have to just hold this just right, and you can see Ringo's um, black turtleneck like I'm wearing now um, it's it's in there you can't the, the lighting of it probably just didn't going to hit it but yes this is an original and the butchers underneath this so many people are now peeling this apart and to get to the original with all the bootleg ones I have I want to keep this pristine because these are getting very very hard to get now in good shape and the prices of these are going up even more all the time. So I want to keep this like this. I don't want to peel it um, because these are getting harder to find, like I said, with the original, original uh, papers on it for the trunk. But I was pleased to get this. I paid a lot of money for it. Typical for uh, the Butcher album, as, as we know. This is a mono copy, it's not stereo, and the mono is very, very nice to have. Like I said, it's in great, great shape, but, um, you know, I, I bought it for what it is. Like I said, I've got plenty more copies, so I certainly don't need to play it, that's for sure. But if I do decide to, I can. <laughs> um, but yes, this was a little fast and probably a little bit longer than my normal videos, but thank you for hanging in there. I talked about the uh, Beatles yesterday and today, or better known as the Butcher album. Um, it's still in regards to a lot of collectors as the collectible album of all albums, even though you might be into Pink Floyd or Moody Blues or whatever. This still is kind of regarded as the collector's item of all albums. It's a great, great album. Like I said, uh, to find it original, there's people that still find it at Goodwills and thrift stores, believe it or not. Um, there's a lot of collectors. Marv. Hey, Marv, how you doing? Marv's a big Beatles collector. He has several original Butcher album covers that have been peeled. And a couple of those. So good for Marv. It's great. I mean, he's got, got the original ones that are that are peeled. I just have the one. But I thought I'd kind of just show you a little bit of uh, what to look for for Butcher albums. People have asked me about it. And so I thought I'd kind of give you a little bit of history about the album. Um, still is a controversial album. Here it is in 2019. Um, I wish they would do an anniversary vinyl. I did show the CD one that where you can peel it away. I wish they would make a vinyl copy of that. That would be really cool. All right, vinyl community. 
and music community. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this segment. Do you have a butcher? Do you have a stereo or mono original butcher? Or did you just enjoy and sit back and enjoy seeing all the different butchers things that I showed? I hope you enjoyed my video. I want to say hi to my new subscribers. Thank you for joining my channel. You guys will have a lot of fun on this channel. It's a lot of great stuff on here. And for my older subscribers, you guys are totally awesome. And you're totally into what I show. And I appreciate it very, very much. You guys that are my older subscribers, I thank you so very much for being a part of my channel. It means a lot because in Beetle Brad, it's family. It's not about the numbers and how many subscribers I've got. It's fun to see it. Yeah, but I'm not into the fact of where I have to have so many subscribers to be happy. I'm just happy talking and sharing my collection with you. Not to outdo anybody else or show anybody else. Just having fun. Um, so, yesterday was the uh, anniversary of the Beatles arriving in America. Um, 55 years ago today, so I want to make sure I get that in as well. But I uh, hope you enjoyed my segment on Yesterday Today, or the Butcher album, as you may want to call it. What story have you heard? Have you heard about the Vietnam story of the Beatles? Or have you heard that they were tired of their albums being butchered, and that's why they came out with the cover? Alrighty, Vinyl Community, as I say on my channel, I'm out of here. Take care, everybody. See ya.